Well, we got another package. Alright, let's check it out. Oh, good doggy. Welcome back to another unboxing video. Today we have something from Coleman's Surplus. Feel free to check them out. They have a large variety of items. Coleman's. So let's go ahead and get you out of the way. Thank you. And let's see how we can get this open. Those appear that they reused some other packaging from Coleman's. This is labeled as a expandable water carrier, but uh, it's going to be purposed as a shipping package, which is perfectly fine. Pretty well taped here. Okay, we're right. See if there's a manifest, and I'm going to take everything out just to make things easier. Small package with a lot of items, so this should be interesting. Okay, there's our manifest. Coleman's Military Surplus. Alright, so this is a multi page invoice. But I believe we can go off of this. So, try to put these so I can see what we got here. Some of these actually have these labels on here. Okay, so I found these. Oh, should be this one. Okay, so what this is is a 40 millimeter high explosive single pouch. These were three, three packs, even though they're individually wrapped, and I ordered two for a total of six. So let's just count them out just to be sure. And let's see what we've got here. Yeah. One, two, a little crinkled. Three, four, and five, and six. And this one is sealed in the bag. I believe they all are. Let's see Molly attachment. Let me see if I can get one out or if one is actually open. Let's see if there's any really crinkled one here. We have a pair of scissors today. So, see Molly 2, 40 mic mic, high explosive pouch single, NSN number, another serial number there for the specialty group, a lot of numbers. You can see the way this will snap down once you interweave it, and this is your front flap here. Big snap, other snap. Leave it in and open bottom and cylindrical profile and then the flat backing. So we got six of those. Set that aside, put that on top. Next we have one of the USGI hand grenade pouch six pack. ACU Digital. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay. Here's an example. There's a label. Modular lightweight 
load carrying equipment molly 2 hand grenade pouch man that's a long title there and then molly 2 let's see NSN number contract number looks like a very small lot number can barely read that and then manufactured by Michael Bianco if I'm reading that correctly this one, on the other hand, is from Specialty Defense. A different label for Specialty Defense. Michael Bianco. I hope I'm reading that correctly. Another Michael Bianco. And another Michael Bianco with a handwritten lot number. So, private contractor. That is mil spec, obviously. Grommets at the bottom, two snaps, Molly to weave through. Let's see if we can get a snap sound. Definitely from the unsnap. There we go. They always tend to work better from the opposite direction from pulling, so. Six of those. Alright. Likewise, we got a six pack of the USGI hand grenade pouch in woodland camo. So notice this has a single snap on the front, like these, and then two of the Molly attachments in the back. Let's see about the label, Specialty Defense. This one's got some debris in it, we'll wash that out. Specialty Defense. Specialty Defense. Specialty Defense. Different, different label. This one feels new. Specialty Defense. And Specialty Defense. So six pack of those. Alright. This just happens to be looped in here. Taking this up. Okay. <clears throat> USGI multi purpose bag and case carry sling two pack. So you can see the little spring attachment there, how that's stitched in the taper and fold over around that buckle end, and the connector there. For sizing as well as here with this and to do in the same direction that way. We'll do a quick magnet test. Steel, steel, and steel on those as well. So two pack of these. Next up, let's see what we got here. Where did get that one? What is this? This is the. Oop. Okay, so we got a little problem there with the snap buckle because that has corroded shut. But luckily, it didn't tear. Well, it did tore a little bit. So we might have to do a little wet leather work replacement. This has probably been in storage for a long time. These are USGI World War II 10th Division Mountain Ski Goggles. So, cardboard insert. Whether or not they're actual World War II, 
hard to tell, but it could be World War II style. Let me see. That's just how they're listed. So you can see the faux fur lining there, side shields in canvas, canvas strap. Let's see if these are magnetic. They are not. So you can see the a little bit of corrosion around the frame, but uh, you can see the style of hinge pin holder for the lenses. Lenses are quite thick glass, I can feel. They are approximately quarter, at least a quarter inch thick, possibly three-eighths inch thick and green as you can see there very nice so I have to do a little repair work on the case and I believe they might go this way it's hard to tell if this uh, nose piece support buckle and just noticed there is a maker mark so there we go that's the shape they should be Alright, so let's get to the last couple of items here. This should be a USGI spare barrel case. Let's see if we can get this open. Oh, there's a label. that better but uh, it's also you can see an echo label there and it actually folds out to this length you can see the label there so case for a spare barrel and last in bubble wrap out. This is a GI style M87 sheath with sharpener olive drab. So it has a 1991 marking SW1. No country manufactured I can see but you can see the kind of Alice belt loop the style there. Kind of a swing lock and kind of a rubberized plastic for the sheath material. For the sharpener itself, I believe this is it here. You can see that V notch. So you would slide your blade edge through that. So again, working backwards, GI style M87 sheath with sharpener, steel fittings. Before that we had the USGI spare barrel case. We also had the USGI World War II 10th Division mountain ski goggles. The USGI multi-purpose bag and case carry sling two-pack. Six-pack USGI hand grenade pouch woodland camo. Six-pack USGI hand grenade pouch quote ACL digital. And then we started off with two of the three packs of USGI 40 millimeter high explosive pouch single ACU digital. These all came from Coleman's military surplus. Feel free to check them out. Large variety of items. This has been another unboxing video. Feel free to check out other unboxing videos on the channel. We also do show and tell videos on specific Vintage and mill surf tools and expanded topics. We also do a selection of book review media reviews 
in a series called Curios for the Curious, videos on more artsy type objects. Feel free to check all those out. Feel free to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching. See you next time.